Hi everyone, this is Zheng Ta. It is my pleasure to present City Flow, a city scale benchmark for multi-target multi-camera vehicle tracking and re-identification. This work was completed during my internship at NVIDIA. The benchmark datasets and evaluation server are available at the AICT Challenge Workshop in CVPR this year. We had over 300 academic and industrial research teams from 44 countries participating in the challenge this year, which had grown fivefold compared to last year. Let's start with examples of person-based problems, which have attracted many researchers' attention in recent years. Object re-identification is also known as re-ID. We are given a number of query images, and our goal is to find images of the same identities from a test set ranked according to their similarity. On the other hand, multi-target multi-camera tracking or NTMC tracking is a different task. The original videos and camera topology are provided so that spatial temporal information can be leveraged for identity association. Different from the person-based scenario, vehicle-based problems are considered more challenging. First, vehicles present higher intraclass variability, as the vehicle shapes vary depending on different viewing angles. Second, vehicles also suffer from higher interclass similarity, because car models produced by different manufacturers look similar to each other. In summary, image-based re-ID is one of the three main components of MTMC tracking. We also need to conduct multi-target single camera tracking or MTSC tracking to compute trajectories within each camera. Besides, spatial temporal information between cameras can be utilized for the association of trajectories. There have been many large-scale benchmarks for person-based re-ID and MTMC tracking, which turbocharged related research in this area. In comparison, only few benchmarks are available for the equally important vehicle-based problems. To the best of our knowledge, CityFlow is currently the only existing one to support vehicle-based MTMC tracking. It also includes a large number of cameras, which lead towards city-scale solutions. We also provide baseline camera calibration results to help project vehicle locations to GPS coordinates. Note that a subset of our proposed benchmark is also made available for image-based re-ID. Now you can see a more detailed overview of the city flow benchmark. There are five scenarios in city flow, covering both highway intersections and residential areas with various traffic flow conditions. In total, we have 40 cameras located at 10 traffic intersections. The total length of all the videos is about 3 hours and 15 minutes, and the total number of vehicle identities is 666. The diversity of vehicle color and type in city flow is also noteworthy. For the annotation of MTMC tracking, we first run a baseline tracking by detection approach on the videos and then manually correct errors like false positives, false negatives, and identity switches. The same identities across multiple cameras are also grouped manually. Here is a demonstration of one of the five scenarios. We show the same vehicle passing through multiple intersections, which was captured in different viewing perspective. Know that the appearance of the vehicle may change significantly in different views. Several state-of-the-art in-person-based and vehicle-based re-ID are chosen as baselines and evaluated on our benchmark. The CMC curves of different methods are displayed in this figure. We show that metric learning methods perform much better. Embeddings of triplet loss like hard triplet loss, all triplet loss, and sample triplet loss and the combination with cross-entropy loss achieve better performance. This can be further visualized in a qualitative performance comparison. For two of the queries, the top 10 matches found by each method are shown. In these examples, the combinations of cross-entropy loss and hard triplet loss can recover vehicle identities most effectively. This table presents the comparison of baselines in single camera tracking and object detection. Among all the evaluated approaches, the tracklet clustering method and SSD are the most reliable ones. Finally, we add in spatial temporal association schemes to evaluate the overall performance of NTMC tracking. The manually set transition time distributions lead to high accuracy, but the transition time can also be learned reliably using Gaussian distributions. Thank you for listening. The benchmark datasets and evaluation server have been made available at the AICT Challenge Workshop. To learn more details about the benchmark and the challenge this year, please check us out at the poster session.